The Chang'e 6 spacecraft returns to Chinese soil, carrying the first ever samples of lunar soil gathered from the far side of the moon. The probe landed in northern Inner Mongolia province on Tuesday afternoon. The mission takes Beijing one step closer to its ambition of putting a man on the moon before 2030. China wants to be a leader in space technology. Um, and I think there's no doubt that it's the second most uh, important uh, actor in space now um, behind the US. It's definitely e eclipsed the Russian space program. The mission is the sixth in China's moon exploration program that's named after a mythical goddess of the moon. The lander touched down in a huge crater on the dark side of the moon called the South Pole Aiken Basin at the beginning of June. After drilling for samples, the probe raised a Chinese flag made from basalt rock, designed to last on the lunar surface for thousands of years. Experts say the collected material could provide clues into the origin and evolution of the moon, earth and solar system. It really is important because it's our early history. It's also essentially the Rosetta Stone for planetary history and also the model for how we understand other planetary bodies. So it's an incredible, incredible landing and uh, sample collection treasure trust. This is the second time China has collected soil from the moon. The Chang'e 5 probe brought back rocks from the near side in 2020. A Chinese probe first landed on the far side a year before. The area is difficult to reach due to being out of range for communication with Earth. Another lunar mission is planned to explore the moon's south pole in 2026. That will include Egypt and Bahrain. China has signed more than 40 agreements with 19 countries and four international organizations to promote global cooperation in space. China's space program is another aspect of its rivalry with the U.S. NASA has not cooperated with China in space for decades because of security concerns. Analysts say China's ambitions have military, diplomatic and economic implications, including the potential to exploit lunar resources. China aims to become a space superpower by 2045. It has its own space station and hopes to one day construct a research station and colony of humans on the moon. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.